Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. And today I'm trying to get a little bit further with the um, the tulips here. Whoops. I about got it whipped except for this crazy little corner here. Some days. So how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well. It's almost the weekend again. Hard to believe. I know it's Wednesday, but it feels like it's already the weekend. Had a rough start to my week. I got a sore throat on Sunday. I woke up with a sore throat and congestion, and it didn't work um, on Monday. and uh or tuesday i just felt terrible i've been taking uh nyquil so it's all i could do and monday all day i did nothing but sleep and tuesday was about the same so today this is the first day that i've felt like doing anything so to speak but um yeah so, we thought, well, we'll just keep hacking away at this little thing, and maybe we could possibly get it done sometime. I'm sick of looking at it. It's too small. It's not too small. Oh, I told you I found the, the diamonds that go with this. Oh, oh Molly, please. H is 20. Get this little heart done. Oh, there's a little straggler pink one. Of course. I mean, what would be my things? My drills without stragglers here and there. I always seem to get some in there, or sometimes they actually come that way. But most of it is that it sticks to my um my drill plate excuse me um my little boat so that tells me that it needs to be wiped down again with um, some sanitizer I try to do it every time I change out a project but sometimes that doesn't get done and I'm too anxious to get it all started um, I probably air the what do you call it the unboxing that I got, a box from one of my subscribers named Miss Kathy. And uh, so now I have lots, lots and lots of can containers. So they will go to good use, Kathy. They will. Thank you so very much. You're enabling me. Yay! But uh, I don't know what I'll kit up next. Um, I haven't quite decided on that. PPH. Forgot what color I was using. Yeah, I've had a couple really bad days. I feel like I've been in a fog for a week, but it's only been two days, and I've had to go out and do laundry today, which I really didn't want to do, but, you know, self-preservation and everything. And I went to go set the timer for the, um, what you call it, the clothes, so I could run and go someplace else. And it said it was Thursday, and I'm like, no, it's not. I mean, it said it was Wednesday, and I'm like, no, it's Thursday. I know it's Thursday. No, it was Wednesday. I'm telling you. I'm losing my mind. It's what happens when I stay home. And you think I need to retire? Yeah. I'd be lost all the time. Just totally lost. But uh, it felt weird not making any videos. But honest to God, I just didn't feel like it. I just could not get my act together to save my soul. I just needed to lay down and, and rest. 
and uh, that's what happened and now I've been in bed too long my back is freaking killing me so I'm not one of those lounge around people I just can't seem to do that so yeah I don't know where this cold thing came from but I still have the congestion but god I hate being sick I just hate being sick and middle of summer I mean it doesn't even make sense it almost makes more sense to have a cold in the middle of winter but this is what happens to me I had pneumonia three times and two times out of the three it was in the um in the summer so I don't know just my body I guess so hopefully I don't think I've got pneumonia I don't feel that bad I feel bad but I don't feel quite that bad I thought I was gonna freaking die when I had pneumonia I couldn't hardly breathe let alone, alone talk Every time I went to talk, you'd think I'd had whooping cough, of which I've already had. That was an episode. My sister and I both got whooping, whooping cough about, oh, I think I was in junior high. I mean, we couldn't even ride our bikes. It was so bad. And I can't even begin to tell you what year that was, but, geez, it was horrible. And then you'd think you were well, and we'd go get on our bikes and bed halfway around the block we'd have to turn around and come back because we'd thrown up from coughing so hard so yeah I, it's, no I don't do sick real well not at all but other than that I'm kind of disappointed I don't get to go to lunch with my daughter this week because I really don't want to give the kids this mess so who knows? I guess it was just my turn to be sick. I am not liking it at all. So I don't know how long this little whipping or diamond painting with me is going to be today. I guess I'll just go until I, I can't anymore. and We'll just go from there. But we're, we're getting it whipped here. What's that dot thing? The dot thing is seven. Seven. Let's see if I can just stab them out of here without having to. Whoops. Ah, get in there. Now I'll probably have to go through this because you can see there's some gaps, but they're not tight you know I'll say that much for them thank God you know where they're tipping what? up or tipping up what is the word popping off or anything so you know oh, oh. Molly hush I'm sorry I keep turning the stupid light off try to move it over a bit so I don't keep hitting it with my arm and it's not helping much over here now that I moved it but uh, just wanted to get a little bit further and try to finish it while I was doing a whipping chat but I'm not going very fast today speed is not me Let's see, we'll finish those T's down here and we'll just work it up. That's how I usually finish things. I'll go, okay, I need a T. So I'll go for my T, which is 17. Maybe I, oh good, I almost stabbed that. Well, if I could just get one, please. There's a T there. Oh, I'm going to have to do this now. I can it. I hate when that happens. There's more than one, so... I can only go so far stabbing. I don't have the patience to pull it out of there. Okay, and I have one check mark. 
which is 18. Can hard to tell the difference between 17 and 18 here. There's that. Oh, great. And then I had all them other ones. Okay, fine. I guess this is the last of the, the T's over here. Let me see if I can get them in line. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get them to do what I want them to do. So, haven't been doing much of anything. What day was it? Saturday I had off. That was my first mistake, I think. Oh, come on, get up there. And my daughter and I went to yard sales. And, uh, bought a few things. Nothing too terribly exciting. I took, uh, my granddaughter to the uh, they call it a water park. Hang on just a second, guys. Alright, guys. I'm back. Oop. Of course, I turned it off. And the plug-in's right over here, so I can't turn it the other direction. What I need is one of those... Um, oh, I want to call them portable battery things. Or charger things. I, I had one, and of course I got it at the dollar store, so it was like five or six bucks. So, um, Sister Teresa uses them. I don't know where. I think she could, said she got them on Amazon. I could be wrong about that. And I probably picked out the wrong thing when I went to go get one, but uh, it didn't want to work with my light pad, so I don't know. I'll have to look again when we go to Walmart and see if they have any others, you know, and pay attention to, I think it's got the same kind of end on it, you'd think. I don't know what that's actually called. I want to say P2 end or something. I don't know. Electronics are so not me. Whoops, sorry guys, I need to drag you. I gotta, just got to get up here to this edge. It's kind of hard to put two in at a time. I got some more of these. Because I found this was one that I had. but So I had enough for all the A's in this. And I, I've got plenty of drills left over, so. Now that I found them all and rounded them all up, see, that's what happens when you don't put them in a bag. It sucks. Because that's about as far organized as I get. I'm just used to picking the whole thing up and moving it um, over to my table so I can do a different project that I don't think about them falling off or anything like that because 90% of the time I'm putting them in a bag so yeah it is what it is it what it is oh quit it I just, I'm just gonna take that off hopefully you can oh yeah you can see ouch I don't know if you can see better without the light pad, but it's driving me crazy. Going on and off and on and off. Oh, there's another P hanging out. Oh, well, I got some more up there, so... I'll be happy to get this done. For a little project, it sure is taking its nice, sweet time, but... I don't work on it all that much, so... And don't ask me about hours. I never keep track of hours. I think that's ridiculous as far as I'm concerned because I don't I don't want to know how many hours I've got into something. I'm, I'm not that technical about the whole thing. You know, I enjoy it while I'm doing it and enjoy getting it done. 
but I don't need to know how many hours and minutes and seconds I got into it. It's just something that I did for my pleasure. And, you know, that way you can see what it looks like when it's done. And it might be something that appeals to you, but... No. I'm just not about time. And I never have been. It gets done when it gets done, and... I hate deadlines, and I've had deadlines all my life, and I'm just sick of deadlines. So, and something you do for pleasure should be fun and not on a timetable. And it, it kind of bothers me that people get things done and, and everything, but, you know, I have to think they're not me, and... This is my pace, not not theirs or anybody else's, and it doesn't have to be. So, yeah, I haven't decided what new small one I'm gonna do. I do have. Oh, let's see. I have to think. I've got one, two small ones. They're about the same size as this. I say small, because you know I like the big ones. I haven't bought any big diamond paintings, except for Diamond Art Club, and I'm still debating on those, so. Haven't made up my mind. I do like that one, Sea Buddies, but I'm just, eh, just kind of giving it a little break and picking up some small ones in the meantime. And some of the small ones, I mean, I've been pretty impressed that they look as good as they do, you know? Because it wouldn't have been anything that I would have picked out because I would have thought, well, it needs to be more detail. So I don't, I look at diamond paintings a little bit differently now than I used to. I think, oh, that looks so cool. It'd be so cool. Yeah. Well, you get it in a 30 by 30 and it's like, it sucks. You can't even tell what it is. It's just blobs of color. Even, I don't care how far back you get. You know, if it has too much detail in it. So, I'm just waiting to see. But, um, I did get two more stitch projects. They should be here by this weekend, hopefully. And, let's see, what else? Um... And I've got, I think there's only two... Possibly three diamond paintings. Two I know of. And then I do have the, the beaded cross stitch coming. But it's coming from AliExpress. And like I said, they just mailed that. It took them six days to get it out. I was pissed. So I don't know what their problem is. So, And I may not even like it when I get it. So I've, I'm up in the air about that one for sure. So, we have a few things to look forward to. I think everybody needs a, a couple things to look forward to. And you don't have to spend a great amount of money. You know, it half of it's getting it, you know. And it makes you feel good. And, you know, it, it's something that you, uh, you want to do. And you think it's going to be pretty when it's done. And that's just my opinion. But... But I think we all need something to, to look forward to and have to do and that we can call our own, you know. And sometimes we don't want to spend money on ourselves, but sometimes it's it's pretty necessary. It keeps me going to know that I can go get what I want when I want it, but you know, I have to stay within a budget, of course, just like everybody else. That whole little scenario right there was a little wacky dog. Not real sure what its problem was. Hi, oh, jeez. Did I got one bead here that actually has a hole in it, and that's about the third one I found in this whole mess. 
<coughs> of beads during this whole diamond painting. So. And I want you to know, guys, it was actually hot enough to turn the air conditioner on today. I'll probably be freezing in an hour or two, but hey, it was just hot while I was out, and so it's getting more intense. It's starting to act a little bit like summer, and they're all rafting around here. They all love that, that snow melt and everything. So, well, we're making some kind of progress, guys. We got it up to here. Let me go back and do those little T's. Yep, it's definitely time to wipe that off because they become staticky just by sitting next to it. So, oh, it's over. I had to think where it was at. I haven't used it in so long. I also use that uh, sanitizer to uh, take the numbers off my containers. Because it, I don't know, it must have alcohol or something in it. You'd think it'd have alcohol in it, in sanitizer. But, uh, I use it and I just wipe, I can tell there's just a tad bit of residue on this. Hang on. It looks like it's got, I don't know if I can get it to. No, I can't. Let me wipe that down. Hang on, guys. Okay, we're back. Yeah, I wiped it down, and we'll see if that'll help. Okay, T, 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 it's number four. Oh, yeah, they move a lot better. I just wipe it down every so often. Like I said, I try to do it in between projects because I'm using the same boat I know it's sad but pathetic I own about 5,000 but I'm still using the same boat I didn't like the one that came with Diamond Art Club because it was clear so yeah because I kept seeing the stuff on the bottom and it was just confusing as to where the um, the drills actually were Push that up a little bit. Whoops. So sorry. We're moving, guys. Everything is up under my elbow here. I've got about five projects on here. Like the remnants of five projects, shall we say? I've got the beads from both the beaded stitch and I got boats and pins and stuff whoops from the the other stuff and nothing wants to move on my desk I think it's commonly known as clean up your mess but I try not to lay everything over there because over on my uh, table I've got my diamond paintings and they've got their kits with them so I don't want to lay too much on them not that the diamond art club's folds and wrinkles wouldn't come out because it will I'm just not real high on moving it because that's one more thing to knock over at the rate I'm going. Well, we almost got this corner done. Yeehaw! I don't know if I could finish this on here or not, but hell, we're just going to give it a try. 
Let's see here. I think we're done with the cheese. Yay! One more color down. Let's see. What else do I need? I need N. So, these are all the beads that I've got left. I don't know if you can tell. See, they're kind of staticky. But, uh, there's quite a few beads left. Let's see if I can turn it around this way. So, we got those all done. And I need, and what was that little N? It's number 13. Got more yellows again. Still watching Grey's Anatomy, off and on. Takes a while to get through 15 seasons or whatever it is, but I'll be done with it again. I did, I've done this several times. Um, I watched Angel, which used to be a series on TV. It was a spinoff from uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So I've seen that through about nine times. And uh, I had this set of books that I started reading back, God, 40 years ago from, uh, uh, the last name is Vandegriff, Vandegriff, and it was like Daughters of the South Wind, Daughters of the, the Far Isles, and there was like nine books in the whole series, and, uh, eight or nine, and they went all over, and it was a story of three sisters who moved from Pennsylvania, and, uh, they moved with their father because he wanted to come west. Because um, I guess their mother had passed away. And he wanted always wanted to go west and look for gold and that kind of thing. And uh, I don't know if anybody's ever read that series. Hang on just a second. I want to check her name because I can't remember right. This is one of them. And uh, that's her name. I don't even know if it's still... I'll put it sideways. This is called Daughters of the South Wind. And uh, it's really a good book. Uh, and the series is just absolutely excellent. So I don't even know if it's still in syndication or if you can still get it or not. But it's well worth the read um, if you can find all the books. But uh, I've been carting around since I got married the first time. I think the first book I actually read when I was in high school. But, uh, and then they, as time progressed, I think, I don't remember when the last one came out. I don't think it was the 2000s. I, I don't know. So, but yeah, it's really a good book and good series. Okay, I need to find a P. There is one P here. It's number 19. Where? Oh. It's hiding. Lots of greens in this. Shades of green. I forgot I got more P's up in here. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. But, uh, yeah, it, they, uh, go to the gold fields and, uh, they meet up with, uh, a man who, they went to Texas first from Pennsylvania. He was supposed to meet up with some friends to go west to look for gold. And, uh, their father passes away and so the oldest girl ends up working in one of the cantinas there and, and to make a living because her she's got one sister that's about 15 and one that is old her older sister 
who's like a real delicate type person that, uh, you know, would never go to work at that kind of a place. And they, somebody had to make some money. And uh, so the story kind of goes from there. And they end up going to California. And they go to Alaska. And they go to England. And they spend some time in the outback. And then they uh, come back to uh, England because their friend... Um, had inherited a big house there and they end up staying there for a while and then everybody kind of grows up and one sister ends up in California and living there and the other one had gone off to Spain and uh, yeah, I mean, it, it just kind of evolves. And then later on in the series, you have their kids' uh, stories, so to speak. You know, how they're in woven in between all the, the whole story thing. So, yeah. And it's really well written. I think I read at one point that... Um, the lady that actually wrote it, her husband was a senator, if I'm not mistaken. Either a senator or a representative here in the United States. So she's not a foreign writer or anything, but she really w writes really well. So, And I've read that series. I guess that's where I was going with that, you know, several times when I get bored or if I was taking care of kids or didn't have a job or you know just pass the time but uh, so if you're looking for a good book series that that would be one of them did I get all the peas over there jeez enough peas here I've been working on that um, tool shed, oh, well not tool shed, but potting shed, shall we say, uh, sewing project. Let me show you how far we got on that. I just do it off and on, hang on. Oops, just a little bit. There you go. So I got, let me get that needle out of there. Like just this section right here done. It's going kind of fast. And I've got some of the, the little cart. There's a cart here with some stuff sitting on it. But it's just something I can pick up and, and do here and there. And it's not too big. It's kind of easy to work with. So I haven't done any beaded cross stitch because I just don't feel like concentrating that hard. But uh, and it is kind of a concentrating thing, and I haven't felt like sitting up. So one thing at a time, one thing at a time. I meant to get some uh, snack bags. You know, like you get from Ziplocs. And, uh, someone, I don't remember, don't ask. Geez, I'm terrible at remembering who told me what, you know, or where I, I saw this. But I saw somebody on their cross stitches put their colors, instead of having it on the, the bobbins or on the, um, that hanging thingy affair that you get every time you get a stitch thing, they put the colors into little snack-sized Ziploc bags. 
and then you could just keep them together but I know I've been to the store a few times and I keep forgetting to get them but I thought that was kind of a good idea and someone even punched a hole in it and kept it on a ring like that and they reinforced like they used duct tape to reinforce the holes so it wouldn't rip every time they went to go and open it I thought that was kind of cool and it does keep them from getting dirty and and everything hey we finished the piece yay okay we're getting there guys okay hang on gotta figure out it's so far it feels like far okay we're gonna use this pale green again god I hope I get enough of them I gotta go a little bit of a distance of course there's some stuck in the oh you silly thing there's one uh, couple that don't go with that and there's even a pink see what I mean I'm my own worst enemy about leaving things in I just left to finish something but, uh, so I don't have any I just I can't figure out what I want to do next I mean I don't really want need a big one I'd like to probably do a whipping gap of um, dream again because it's getting some progress on it and I've got Nola, and then I've got Mother Dragons in there. So I just don't know. Did you see that paint diamond painting that Stitcherista framed? Oh my god, it was so gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. That frame was beautiful. Man. I'm telling you. And, you know, the diamond painting's only worth about, oh, $50, $60, something like that. But, God, you put it in that frame and it looks like a million bucks. Just a million bucks. I, I was impressed at how well that looked. But, uh, okay, we got those done. Moving it over here again, guys. I'm trying. I'm trying. They don't want to slide. They're being unslidey today anything just driving me crazy <sighs> got one little booger right there and this guy he thinks he's an escapee but I got news for him well just yep get right there we got two more colors to do, guys. Two more. This top ledge is hard to get it in line there. It's almost easier to go up and down with this than to go all the way across. I haven't ever tried the credit card thing. So I don't know if that would work. My way of thinking them credit cards are a little thick, but maybe not. I'm trying to think of something else that would be thin, real fine thin. And I think even the paint edger is going to be too thick to move them with. I happened to see, I think it was, was it Wolfpack? Uh, Stephanie? Uh, who said, uh, she got one of those that had that edge, and you put the double-sided tape along the edge, and then lay it down like that? I don't know. I don't know how that would work. I'd ha have to try that out. I do have some real fine ones, but I thought that was to straighten your drills with. 
so I'll have to go back and revisit that. I did buy actually some double sided tape because I thought I was going to need it for that stupid owl that uh, I had. that I put the paper down on and didn't know how to get the paper off of the the thing really well and ended up just messing it up but I had to use um, what did I end up using? I guess just tacky glue that I had and I let it dry just a little bit and then I put, placed the diamonds in and they were fine but I thought I was going to have to get double-sided tape for it, and so I have a whole roll of double-sided tape. I should have just got that, what is it, tack it again and again or something like that. I know what it is. It's on my wish list in Amazon because I never did buy it because I thought, well, you know, you have to justify the cause again. It was like 14 bucks and how many times would you use it? I mean, really. It just didn't make sense to me, so. I just did, I had some Aliens tack, Tacky Glue. Okay, Green, sorry. It just wasn't your rodeo today. Okay, we got those done. Yay! Two more colors, two more colors, two more colors. I usually don't do diamond paintings like this, but... We're working with such a small space here. I need that dot. And dot is seven. Oh dear. Oh yeah, we got plenty. I had to look. We're going to finish this, guys. Push come to shove here. I told you I had to get a new one of these because, I don't know, the edge was just being weird on that other one. I hadn't, I don't know, I guess they're just cheap plastic and sometimes they don't come out of the form just right. But, uh, yeah. But, this one's working just fine. Okay, last one. Letter N. That's at 605. At least they have the, what do you call it? <coughs> oh, DMC numbers on them. So, N, N, N. I just said it. Five. Oh, yes. This is this one. Some of them are stuck together, they're just being a poop. But at this point, I just don't care anymore. Because I've got them right where I want them to be. And I just want to finish this. And then when I'm done here, I'll show you. For pity's sake. It's like messing with messy drills and it takes twice as long. I'll show you what it looks like when we get it all done here. I worry that bad it whooped. And these have gone together really well, so I would buy again from Timney Arts as far as that goes. The drills were just they weren't perfect, you know, I mean it I've had a few that were kind of weird or winked out, but not a lot. So, you know, they got my vote. In fact, I've got some waiting in my uh, my cart that I'll have to pick and choose from. So I may get another one of them that uh, I have. But I'll wait and get the rest because it didn't take too long to get them that I thought of, thought it did. So, it's one thing I like about Amazon. 
it's fairly quick and you can tell right off the bat if it's going to take forever from China so you kind of expect it but I'm a little impatient all right guys last drill all right you doing too bad all right Oop, got a straggler over here all right let me get you situated so you can see the whole thing hang on Oop. all right guys there she is you pretty? <coughs> Molly, hush. Yep, it's all done, guys. Of course, I'll have to go back and roll it. Got a few loose diamonds there that you don't see. But isn't that pretty? I thought it was just absolutely gorgeous. Yep. Oop, another loose diamond. But yeah. Turned out really well. I'm really pleased. It looks really good in the camera. So I know it'll look good from a distance. But like I said, I might have to go back and, uh, what do you call it? I use my brayer. But I don't see any popping drills or anything. I want to straighten all that out. But yeah. Well, thank you for joining me today for this finish. I appreciate you being here, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you very much. And don't forget to hit the bell, and that way you'll know when the next video comes out. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye. God bless.